हेलो हाय नमस्ते वेलकम टू मेडिक बर्ड सेकेंड एपिसोड अन कैंसर इन कैंसर सीरीज विद डॉक्टर नितिन सिंगल ओके आई एम स्पीकिंग दिस इन इन दिस वॉइस बिकॉज दिस एपिसोड इज अबाउट रोबोटिक सर्जरी ओके ओके दैट वॉज टू मच ड्रामा बट द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन बिकॉज ऑफ दिस टॉपिक फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन विच पॉप्ड अप इन माई माइंड दैट रोबोटिक सर्जरी इज इट रियली यू नो a robot perform in this surgery or uh, uh, just a surgeon human surgeon is performing and if robot is performing then there is no need even i can consult people and get you know extra money so what's the case sir? please let me know so <laughs> thank you for asking this question <laughs> uh this is not actually a dumb question in fact this is the normal perception yeah uh, most of the patients when they come to me first when, uh, they have this perception that uh, when we talk about robotic surgery it is an advanced form of surgery because it is performed by the robot uh little do they know that it is actually me performing this surgery and time has still not come where a robot can take away my job so my job is secured as of now so okay. uh, so this robot cannot do surgery on my behalf robot basically helps us in performing this surgery and if you to ask me uh, when i talk about robotic surgery as a medical professional when i talk say robotic surgery it's basically robotic assisted surgery so robot actually helps me technically in performing this surgeries in a minimal invasive manner okay when i say minimal invasive again it means lesser cuts smaller cuts and uh, so that the, the the big incisions are not required that are used in the traditional surgery okay so you just told me that minimal invasive and smaller cuts okay so i heard this is this is actually laparoscopic surgery i'm sorry because this is like confusing me how it is different from traditional laparoscopic surgery so again a very good question because laparoscopic surgery is something in which we do exactly the same we take smaller cuts so that the healing time goes down so robotic surgery i would say it's an advanced form of uh, i would say laparoscopic surgery we have several advantages over laparoscopic surgery because we have different instruments the robotic instruments which give us several advantages over the uh, traditional laparoscopic surgery uh, using robotic uh, this instruments i can do many many more complex procedures which are difficult to perform or almost impossible to perform using laparoscopy because the movements that we can do they are restricted in laparoscopic surgery in robotic surgery we get a magnified view almost 10 times magnified view so what i am seeing normally 10 times magnified so when i see 10 times magnified and with those long instruments and look that precise uh, cutting that i can do with robotic surgery which is more precise than laparoscopic surgery obviously the outcomes are much better we get lesser blood loss the incision size they become even smaller and obviously the pain quotient of the patient that goes down significantly so it all ultimately accumulates into a quicker recovery because in today's fast life nobody wants to waste their important and precious time in the hospital and everybody wants to be up and moving as soon as possible even if they are getting treated for a uh, i would say a significant disease like cancer so that is where uh, robotic surgery scores over the laparoscopic surgery and as a surgeon the learning curve also is very very high like uh, when i say learning curve it means my experience in terms of doing a surgery specific num- surgeries the number of procedures that i perform using laparoscopy vis a vis robotic the learning curve would be much much higher i have been doing laparoscopic surgeries now for 10 to 12 years and robotic surgery i have been doing now for let's say last 2 to 3 years so acquiring the skills in the laparoscopy took me long long time robotic it was a quick transition and i am much more confident replicating the same surgeries and even giving better results to my patients using robotic so i have been having this journey where i started as a open surgeon started doing laparoscopic surgery for almost 10 years and now last 2 3 years i am doing robotic surgery so i guess i am in the best phase to answer this yes robotic surgery definitely definitely gives me much bigger advantage in terms of giving better outcomes to my patients Okay, so according to you, because after listening to you, I would say that this is the revolutionary uh, invention in terms of cancer surgery. So, uh, what specific type of cancer which are treated uh, through robotic surgery? So, uh, again, a very important question. 
रोबोटिक सर्जरी और फॉर दैट मैटर एनी मिनिमल इन सर्जरी इट इज एक्चुअली डिजाइन इन अ वे दैट वी कैन गेट इन टू द कैविटीज डीप कैविटीज ऑफ द बॉडी सो वेयर अ नॉर्मल ह्यूमन हैंड और नॉर्मल ह्यूमन आई वुड हैव अ डिफिकल्टीज इन डूइंग द सर्जरीज सो वेन इन फैक्ट सम पीपल कम एंड नाउट इज आस्क मी फॉर रोबोटिक सर्जरी इवन फॉर प्रोसीजर लाइक ब्रेस्ट कैंसर और फॉर दैट मैटर हेड नेक कैंसर सो इन हेड नेक कैंसर स्टिल वी कैन डू सर्टन प्रोसीज रोबोटिकली बट फॉर ब्रेस्ट कैंसर रोबोटिक सर्जरी is not an answer because it is a surface uh, i would say surface uh, part and it can be very well managed by our normal traditional open surgery so where does the robotic surgery plays a role it plays a role in the abdomen abdomen it's a big pandora box it's cavity it has a lot of organs and there are certain organs let's say prostate rectum that is the distalmost part of the large intestine uh, colon uh, certain areas where our normal human hand and normal uh, eye would find difficult to do the surgeries if we try to take smaller incisions or even with bigger incisions sometimes if the tumors uh, uh, anatomy or the parameters are such that uh, it becomes extremely extremely difficult handling those sort of tumors with robot we get precisely into those areas it has a big far big reach i can go into all these deep areas and into very very small areas where the distance i would say as less than 1 cm is there and it is in the depth of let's say 10 15 cm where my hand cannot reach where their robotic arms can easily go there and can give me all that magnified view where i could be hardly difficult to see anything there i get such magnified view that i can do precise cutting so that is where robotic surgery comes into play so in short if i have to answer it it is helpful for all types of uh, major urological cancers like say prostate cancer uh, where it is i would say reversalize the treatment of prostate cancer which was once uh, considered as a very very difficult surgery second uh, in co- continuation for the uh, urological cancers in kidney cancers now is the era where we as a cancer surgeons don't want to always remove all the organs we want to preserve the organs also so kidney cancers we try to save the kidney as far as possible in most of the cases and kidney preserving surgeries some complex locations where normal surgeries it would have been difficult with robotic surgery it becomes very easy for us to do this uh, kidney preserving surgeries bladder tumors where the entire uh, bladder needs to be removed and need to form a new uh, sort of a bladder there robotic surgery can help then uh, certain areas like retroperitoneum it is the area where all the major vessels of the body aorta and ibc everybody has heard it carries the major blood in the body from the heart to the various organs so all those areas it is difficult to assess so in those areas with robotic surgery it becomes easy gynecological cancers when you talk about uterus cancers endometrial cancers most of these patients are very fatty elderly ladies diabetic so it becomes very difficult to treat these patients and it is generally they were considered very high risk for surgery because if we would have done it with a traditional incision uh, the recovery time and the wound complication would have been a significant uh, factor in determining the outcome so all these areas with the help of robotic surgery my patients can get discharged in a very short span of time when i'm talking about endometrial cancers as less than as less 48 to 72 hours my patients get discharged gi cancers that is gastrointestinal cancers so rectal cancer that is the large intestine cancers which is the distalmost part of the large intestine colon cancers some cancers and even now for complex cancers like gall bladder and even pancreas cancers we have this technology of robotic surgery and foot pipe cancer that is esophagus cancer we can use this in addition uh, in the thoracic cavity that is the cavity where we have the lung the heart there the tumors of the lung and the tumors of the thoracic cavity can be easily addressed and in addition in very small number of cases of head neck tumors let's say some thyroid cases and some uh, tumors of the uh, oral cavities uh, which are posteriorly based where a normal human hand cannot go the tos procedure that can be addressed with the help of robo oh my god i was literally feeling that i just you know someone threw me in the classroom of medical science okay but that was a great great answer and i hope that everyone will be know beautiful about uh, things about there was, there was no way i could have de- uh, defined this in a much simpler way okay. i'm sorry if it sounded uh, too no, no, it is not i, I am not uh, that kind of guy but i am i am just representing normal people so to ma- make it easier for the audience is basically all the tumors of the uh, abdominal cavity and the lung cavity these are the areas where you can seek robotic help so in short okay so uh, when actually it was invented i am very much curious about it because uh, traditionally then of course when it was not robotic surgery people used to do laparoscopy right 
then when actually it was invented and revolution came so uh, robotic surgery you will be surprised to know it all started almost 2 to 3 decades back uh, in usa and as you rightly said laparoscopic surgery was in vogue but if i tell you if you compare that time 2 to 3 decades back 2 to 3 decades back even uh, laparoscopic surgery was not used to this extent when i did my training at tata memorial hospital which is the alma mater of cancer treatment in okay. india and across asia okay, when i started my journey there even then that time let's say 12 13 years back laparoscopic surgeries were done but the amount was insignificant because the problem with laparoscopic surgery is it is technically very very demanding on the surgeon the learning curve for anybody to master those skills is very very uh, i would say steep and it takes a lot of time and laparoscopic surgeries and the, uh, again making anybody learn those skills it takes a lot of time and fourthly still there are limitations because the laparoscopic traditional instruments that we have they do not have that sort of maneuverability that they can go into those areas where the robotic instruments can go and the magnifications the uh, video systems that we have in robotic that is not there and there are certain more advanced techniques which are coming in robotic like some robotic shapers and everything which makes surgery joyful both for the patient as well as the uh, surgeon treating those things because you can do the surgery in a very very precise and controlled manner okay so uh, after knowing this i am very sure that accuracy is very high yes because of this much you know precision uh, and if you are telling about accuracy i yes. will uh, give you an example have you ever noticed your this uh, currency note uh, 100 rupees or 10 rupees or 20 rupees currency note yeah i have used to so if i show you but i don't know if you magnify it with a zoom glass okay. i'll show you certain areas which you would have never noticed there are some amb- uh, embarking of rbi on that some small threads yes. which is impossible to see by naked yes. eye yes. and even with the magnified glass it becomes sometimes very difficult yes. and when i see it on a robo the same thing when i was doing my this train robo training i was uh, this was part of my exercise for adjusting the camera i saw that i could i could see that small embarking also in a beautiful magnified manner yes. so you can understand how magnified and uh, optimized views we get in robotic system and then success rate would be like success rate is uh, it, it becomes yes obviously it depends on the surgeon also who's performing the surgery but yes it 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 is a tool that actually helps the surgeon to perform the surgery in a much controlled environment okay but like can you tell me the specific success rate that people can be so uh, before i talk about that it's just like ki everybody cannot be sachin tendulkar <laughs> even if you give the bat and uh, ball so it's basically you have to practice that and you have to enhance your skills obviously and uh, it, it does has its learning curve and for us coming from both open laparoscopic surgery it becomes easier but that does not mean that anybody who embarks on the journey of robotic surgery can do the surgeries okay. uh, so like uh, from tomorrow, uh, next day yes it does has its learning curve but yes obviously robotic surgery enhances the journey of a surgeon as well as the treatment journey for a patient okay. now coming to the success rate what you asked me now when we talk about success rate in terms of cancer treatment i would again emphasize this thing to uh, people who are listening to this when i treat cancer it is not robotic open or laparoscopic it's basically all three i can give the same type of cancer results because cancer treatment surgery the results depend on how good i am clearing the tumor how widely i am removing it and how good i am doing the lymph node dissection and for me personally i can do all three uh, all the cases whether open laparoscopic or robotic it will be the same for whether, whichever technique i use so the success it cannot be defined in terms of the cancer outcomes the success is in terms of the patient recovery like typically by open surgery if a patient starts drinking after major abdominal surgery drinking or eating it will take 3 to 4 days 5 days and patient would start walking by let's say 2 to 3 days by lap- robotic laparoscopic surgery the learning uh, the that would be reduced by say let's another 24 hours with robotic surgery it would be further reduced and typically my patients after robotic surgery they are walking the next day they are eating the next day and the discharge time is much much lesser 3 to 4 days lesser than a conventional open surgery okay I just uh, okay after Robert after hearing this much accuracy, I'm just you know uh, uh, getting one dialogue uh, that cancer is like मेरा तो आतंक ही खत्म हो गया. But because of you know thanks to this much talented doctors, of course it requires the practice you know before uh, before playing T20 format it requires you know uh, to gain skill in test format just way you just the way you said in, in, uh, by giving example of cricket. so uh, after hearing this much uh, recovery time smaller recovery time 
I really want to know the the Da Vinci robotic surgery. What is actually that? Because so I would, Da I Vinci just, is uh, actually commercialized. Uh, robotic surgery system has been commercialized by the name of Da Vinci because that was the first company which came out with the robotic system. Okay. So Da Vinci basically is a company which introduced the first robotic okay. system. It has in the nothing world. to do with the. Uh, it's nothing concept. to do with the robot per se. There are not many companies who have come up with. There's a Hugo and there are few more like SI and everything ah, okay. who have come up with the robotic system. But the Da Vinci system has several advantages over others. It was the first company, so obviously it got more time to innovate the system. There are several techniques which other systems don't provide as of now. Okay, just my doubt got clear. Uh, now, of course, this is the future of uh, this uh, robotic surgery. So, what are the co- common questions which patients ask by, while choosing this, while undergoing this uh, robotic surgery? So, the common concerns, like uh, obviously, when somebody undergoes surgery, they are all anxious. And when I tell them that we can, uh, we are going to do the surgery with this thing, those who are not that well read about robo, sometimes they have the apprehensions also that robo will be doing the surgery. So if it goes out of control, then what will happen? If some virus comes into the robo. So now, as we uh, discussed earlier, that robot is something. It's a tool, and it's absolutely under my control. I'm the master. I'm controlling it. So robot cannot go, go crazy. It cannot do anything to you. Okay. That is one thing which people need to understand. Second concern most of the time is the, uh, regarding the cost concerns uh, which people have regarding robotic surgery. People feel yes, obviously technology, uh, every new technology will have its share of costs and it will uh, be making the entire treatment slightly more costly. But again, when I so consult my patients regarding the cost and the safety, so I always tell them this thing. See, uh, it's a bargain. It's a trade-off. Uh, when you go for an open surgery. Uh, after surgery, you are going to be in the hospital for a longer period of time. You will be requiring more medications. So ultimately, your bills are going to be higher that way. And when you are going to get discharged earlier, the hospital stay is going to be shorter. So some amount of the cost, increased cost, will be compensated by that thing. And the remaining cost, let's say after recovery, you are taking one month to go to your job. Okay. Yeah, and after robotic surgery, if you are back to your job on 14th day or 12th day, so which is a better trade-off? So that way, if you see. I guess ultimately the price gets compensated off. Okay. And even the elderly patient, when it, we talk about safety, elderly patient undergoing the surgery, when they are going to get recover faster, obviously the chances of recovery are much much better without much complications. So safety profile, as we discussed, it is controlled by me. The recovery is faster, so patient is going to recover fast. So it is a safe and in a way a more economical uh, procedure than compared to the conventional treatment. After hearing this much, you know, benefits and accuracy, I am literally sure that this surgery is my favorite. But so, uh, of course, uh, can you share sir, uh, specific case that you just performed in robotic surgery and its complexity as well? So we have done several cases. Uh, we do actually several cases every week uh, robotically. So I would share two or three cases that we did uh, in recent past. And one of them actually is very close to my heart because this patient travelled from overseas, travelled from Kenya, and uh, he was an elderly gentleman, 65-68, and he had a tumor in the pancreas. Pancreas, as you know, is a complex organ, and any surgery on pancreas is very difficult. This patient had previously history of uh, coronary artery bypass grafting, and diabetic, hypertensive, osteoarthritis. Asthmatic, so had a lot of many complications. He was like near about to death only. Not near to death. Yeah, he <laughs> had this tumor, but the surgery, doing surgery the traditional way, would have been very very tricky on this exactly. because the recovery time and everything could have taken a long toll on him. But uh, then we, uh, after reviewing his reports, we planned a uh, this minimal invasive robotic procedure for him on the pancreas. And I'm happy to tell you, he got discharged on day five. He was up and about on day one. As uh, most of my patient, and he was out of uh, hospital on day five, and he travelled back to his country in on thirteenth day, and now one month post surgery, he's doing absolutely okay. He's back to his work, and he's actually telling me thanks for the same thing that actually his cost of treatment got reduced because he would have gone by the conventional treatment, he would have to stay in India for a longer length of time, and that cost would have actually been much much more than actually what he paid by giving that extra money to robotic surgery. Okay, okay. Actually, I, I have, I have never thought like cancer would be this much easy. You actually made it easy. That's why this you know series has a name of uncancering cancer with Dr. Nitin Singh. So uh, this is it for in robotic surgery. Uh, see you guys in the next episode with exciting talk.